This video will cover the topic, finding the initial amount in a word problem on continuous compound interest. To find the initial amount in a word problem on continuous compound interest, we first use the formula for continuous compound interest and create a model using the information given, and then we solve for the initial amount. Let's take a look at an example. Mr. and Mrs. Perry hope to send their son to college in 12 years. How much money should they invest now at an interest rate of 8.5% per year, compounded continuously, in order to be able to contribute $8,000 to his education? What does it mean to compound continuously? When interest is compounded continuously, that means that the initial amount of money you put in the bank is constantly earning interest, and the interest you earn is constantly earning more interest. There's a special formula we use for continuously compounded interest, which looks like this. A equals P times E raised to the RT. In this, A is the final amount, P is the principal or initial amount, E is Euler's constant, which always has the same value, and there's a special button on the calculator for E. R represents the growth rate per time period, and T represents the number of time periods that have passed. Now we can use the information given to us in the problem and substitute values in for our variables. First, we see from the problem that time is measured in years and that 12 years will pass. So we should choose 12 to substitute in for t. And we plug in 8.5 for r, right? Well, we see that the interest rate is 8.5% per year. We need to rewrite this percent as a decimal in our model, so we really use 0.085 as our rate, r. Finally, we see in the problem that the final amount desired is $8,000. So we plug this in for A in our formula. They want to know how much money they should invest now, which makes sense that we are left with P and we want to find the initial amount. From here, we can divide both sides by E raised to the 0.085 times 12 and find that P equals 8,000 divided by E raised to the 0.085 times 12. Now we can use a calculator to solve for P. The calculator tells us that P equals 2,884 point, a really long decimal, but the problem tells us to round to the nearest cent, so we can round this to 2,884.76. This means that Mr. and Mrs. Perry should invest $2,884.76 now so that 12 years from now they will have $8,000 for their son's education. So to find the initial amount in a word problem on continuous compound interest, we first use the formula for continuous compound interest and create a model using the information given to use. We then solve for the initial amount. Right. 